guys welcome back to our repair guys in today's video guys we're going to share the symptoms with you and how to find out if you have a jump timing chain or timing belt now the correct way will be to take the engine apart and check that thing out but we're going to share the symptoms with you without taking the vehicle apart what it sounds like and what it could be we have this uh, 2000 2009 Ford Edge here at the shop 3.5 engine guys and we have another one as well one has a uh, jump timing chain one does not we will show you the symptoms now we guys we're uploading videos all the time every car that we get at the shop we make at least 200 videos on it so please subscribe guys so we're uh, our mission at the shop is to save you as much money as we can by teaching you how to fix your vehicle so now this thing is dead so we will need to jump start it i'm going to go ahead start it and show you what it sounds like terrible okay so we're about to okay listen now First, it's going to sound when you try to start it, like the engine is almost kind of like locked up, it goes like woo, woo, and then all of a sudden it goes a little bit faster. Did you hear that? Weird, weird thing. And it died. Okay, so I'm going to rev it up a little bit now. Okay, hear the miss now. It sounds like it's missing one cylinder and the car is shaking. The engine is shaking. Okay, it's like out of balance. Like running running one cylinder less. Kind of like sounding like you have a bad spark plug, back injector or a bad ignition coil. But some most of the times you will not even get an engine light on. Unless you jump a few teeth on the timing chain or belt. If you just jump one, sometimes you never get an engine light on until you probably drive it to 300 miles and it could be a confusing code so check it out now how it's missing when i give it gas another thing if you come on the back side you're going to smell your exhaust okay it will smell really funny and listen how it's missing now okay Let's try one more time, listen now. Okay. So you can see the exhaust vibrating. Okay, l look how it, it gets the puff out of it. It sounds like the engine is misfiring, kind of like that. Why is that happening? Because it's out of timing. And it's not synchronizing the timing, okay, with the top dead center. Now the engine here, you can see everything looks fine, pretty clean engine, it has only 100 and uh, 3000 miles. Uh, it looks really good, everything is perfect, but it's a missed timing chain. So we're going to go, okay, check it out. It starts vibrating all of a sudden and it sounds like it's misfiring. So I thought it's a bad spark plug or anything like that, bad injector. So what I did, I disconnected the injectors one by one and it dies. It's not injectors guys, I'm telling you, that, that's a timing chain issue right there. Uh, on modern vehicles, you still have to replace your timing ch chain. This is not like one of those things back in the past that if you have a chain, it's a lifetime deal. It's recommended and we've done it. Some vehicles are even like 60 to 90,000 miles. At least 100,000 miles I changed ours. Okay, on every vehicle. And this one jumped it at 103. Mazda, okay, are prone to jumping timing chains even earlier. And we've, we've done so many repairs at the shop. Now, let me go ahead. We're going to go to the other edge now quick. And we'll show you what it sounds like with a not dump, jump timing chain. Listen now, the engine super dirty, but everything is so, so smooth. It's like it's not running, you can leave a penny, it will stay on the engine. The exhaust on the back, everything comes super nice out, nothing vibrating. It doesn't come like a like a train, you know, puffing air out. So, that's it guys. 
hopefully the video will be helpful. Uh, we'll have a video how to mechanically check jump timing chain. Okay, we'll take the engines apart, we'll show you need to remove uh, engine covers, also you will need to uh, remove timing covers and all that stuff to check your timing. So hopefully the video will be helpful guys, please hit the subscribe button and see you guys next time.